not only women experience periods. Trans guys can experience periods and non-binary people can as well. Well, one of those things doesn't exist and the other we didn't need a PSA about, so Lord knows why you're making this video. I had a visit from an incredibly very unwelcome guest. In-laws? I basically got my period for the first time in like nearly four years. Well, not to brag or nothing, but I haven't ever had a period, so I'm winning, buddy. My name is Jamie Rains, and I'm a trans guy who's been on testosterone for a little over seven years now. And I'm here today to talk to you about what it's like to experience periods as a trans guy. And I'm here to wonder why the fuck anyone needs this information. And to make some period jokes. Hey everyone and welcome back. So today we got a video that won't raise my blood pressure as much by someone who, to be honest, I don't actually have a problem with. Only reason we're here is because I don't care for this men get periods too bullshit, so we're gonna have a discussion about that. One of the biggest misconceptions is that periods are only experienced by women. Actually, it's been a biological fact ever since Mother Nature sucker punched Eve in the womb for eating the forbidden fruit like some strong independent woman that don't need no man, and basically fucking life up for the rest of us for all of eternity. But nah, since it's the current year and biology is offensive, sound science is all of a sudden wrong. But in reality, transgender men are real men. Yes, and they gush out the front hole on the monthly like their fathers before them. We're just born a little bit different to other guys. Being born different means having a lazy eye or skin color that doesn't match the father, not having the fully functional anatomy of the opposite fucking gender. Y'all know I have nothing against trans people living their lives and doing what they can to alleviate their dysphoria, but can you at the very least stop trying to change sound fucking science because of a group that makes up less than 1% of the population? It ain't healthy for you because there are medical procedures and conditions that come with your biological gender, and it's not healthy for me because of the migraine it gives me trying to navigate the mental gymnastics y'all set up. And it can be quite hard to navigate having periods as a guy when everything to do with periods is aimed very much towards women and is very like female orientated and all the advertising and packaging and just all of that stuff. There are so many things wrong with that statement that I almost ran onto I-95 to stand in front of an oncoming truck just so I didn't have to deal with the previously mentioned migraine. Getting periods as a guy, I really don't think I need to explain that one again and if you need me to just rewind the video to the beginning. As far as you complaining about period products being marketed towards women, literally 99.5% of their customer base is women. If the fact that a period products company doesn't advertise directly to you is the worst problem you're facing right now, I really envy how easy you have it. Products advertise to their target customers. A period product is going to advertise to biological women because 100% of their customer base is going to be biological women. And that does include you. Now I'm not saying that to disrespect your gender identity. You are a genuine trans person and I understand that that's difficult. Just because you consider yourself a man doesn't mean period products need to stop using girly packaging and start making man-themed period commercials. Although I will admit, those commercials would be fucking hilarious to see. I remember the first time I experienced having a period, I can't remember exactly how old I was, but I was like somewhere between 12 and 14, and I just remember it took me completely by shock. Eh, not an uncommon occurrence, especially for the second or third born girls from what I hear. No joke, some mothers assume the older sisters will explain it to the younger sister, and then the younger sister thinks she's dying because, well, imagine bleeding from your cooch for the first time when you have no clue what's going on. Having periods was such a massive source of dysphoria for me. Whenever it happened, I felt completely like frozen and very, very down for the entire time it happened. I think that's literally every woman that has her period, bro, not just you. I mean, seriously, who's happy with their period? Well, aside from the psycho bitches at BuzzFeed that made two videos I still have nightmares about. And whenever I first realized that I'd started my period, it was just a moment of like being stuck on the toilet. I can't move, I don't know what to do. And then just like curling up in bed for the rest of the day or being mopey if I wasn't able to curl up in bed and just ignore the world. Are you sure it wasn't man flu? I mean, if you are a real man, that would make a little more sense in my book. But when I started testosterone, my period stopped and it was just like this huge weight lifted. Were your periods that heavy? It was kind of similar to the happiness and excitement I had when I first noticed like my voice was breaking or I had like my first chin hair or my first chest hair, that kind of thing. I'm glad you were happy, I truly am. But to be fair, I think every woman on this planet will be happy to wake up and find out they were never gonna have another period. Again, excluding the psycho bitches at BuzzFeed. It was just like, uh, things are happening and I don't have to deal with this anymore. And that lasted for about three years. 
And then I switched the testosterone type I was on because it just, it wasn't agreeing with me. I couldn't get my levels under control. They were too high and I didn't feel right. Well, judging by the democratic debates, I wouldn't suggest feeling left. Um, so I switched back onto the testosterone I'd been before. And during the switchover phase of testosterone types, I had a little reappearance of my period. <laughs> hey, red darkness, my old friend. I've come to stain your clothes again because a trickle softly creeping stained your sheets while you were sleeping. The first time it happened, I was brought straight back to that very like dysphoric feeling that I had years ago. And I just remember again being stuck on the toilet, crying, just not knowing what to do. Again, that's most women on their periods. Don't know what to do, cry a lot, and then us men have to deal with all the whining, which is scientifically proven to be just as painful as the cramps. Don't believe me? Move in with your girlfriend during her time of the month. It just, it kind of like shook me. But even though it happened a couple more times, the other times it happened, I felt like I was able to like brush it off a bit more. Well shit, now I'm convinced you are a real man. Just brush off the pain and keep on trucking. The manly way. And I think a lot of that had to do with just being further along in my transition. Congratulations! You made it to the stage of being a man where you learn that pain is for the weak. It was- I had facial hair, my voice had broken, I was a lot more comfortable in my skin, I'd had top surgery, I just felt a lot better about myself. Feels good to be a man! And having my period wasn't something that affected me in the same way that it used to. Okay, I have a lot of questions about what's going on right here. Starting with, what the hell is going on right here? Because I was just a lot more comfortable in my own skin, and I wasn't gonna let this one thing ruin that. Good on you, my man, and I do mean that with all sincerity. Like I said, I don't wish any ill will towards Jamie. I'm glad he's happy and doing well with the transition, and I wish him the best. But Jamie, if you happen to see this, please don't be suggesting that men get periods too. It's biologically inaccurate, and you don't need period products advertised to you to know that they were made for you due to being born biologically female. That would be as ridiculous as suggesting we advertise prostate exams to women due to the fact that trans women will have to get prostate checks in the future because, well, biology. So anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed what I had to say, please like the video. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified of my arrival rather than waking up to see that I've stained your bed sheets. You can follow me on Twitter and BitChute at hey underscore dude 77 Streamlabs link is now in the description if you would like to support the channel with a donation. And until next time, catch y'all later.